Uh, I am really excited to introduce my next guest who won over the hearts of the nation with her singing voice when she was just six years old. Hello. What's your name? Connie. Connie. How old are you, Connie? Six. And what, what do you do, Connie? I sing You're a singer? I mean, gosh, I'm listening back to that. I still get shivers. Uh, Connie Talbot came second in the first series of Britain's Got Talent, which, can you believe, was way back in 2007. We've just been talking about it. Uh, she's now back with a new EP called Growing Pains. It comes out at the end of April. Connie is here in the studio with me right now to talk about brand new music. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello. Thank you for having me. It's OK. And gosh, <laughs> listening to that, what do you feel? What do you think of? Oh, it's... It feels like the beginning of my life, really. <laughs> I don't really remember anything before it. Oh. But, um, yeah, it was good times, and it's nice to look back and reminisce on those BGT days. Can you it remember? Because you were only six years old. Yeah. Can you remember anything? Are there any moments of the journey that, that you can sort of bring to mind? Or is it all a bit of a blur? Um, you know what? I remember bits not actually being on stage. Really? <laughs> like the backstage moments <laughs> and like wanting to go on the show and like wanting to be Leona Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it was it was really just a day out to have a bit of fun. And of course, because you're a kid, yeah. like you don't think. Any, who, who put you forward? Was it mom? Was it dad? Like how did that come together? Well, I I always loved singing and I always used to sing for my nan who wasn't very well at the time oh. and. Um, I I just wanted to be on the X Factor and I remember watching the um like the the advert for the first ever series of Britain's Got Talent yeah. and I was like, "Yep, yeah, this is my X Factor." Because <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm old enough to go on this one. <laughs> um so yeah, it was really just a day out for fun and um I'm so lucky that it's continued um and I get to do something I love every day, which is incredible. I mean, I'm you, so lucky. Even back then you had the most beautiful voice. I mean, you could hear, you can listen to that clip. You could hear a pin drop. <laughs> like everybody was just like, "Oh my gosh, how is this 6-year-old with this vibrato and this clean <laughs> tone it was so pretty oh, um, which brings you. me to obviously say we're so glad to hear that you're still singing and you're still making music so I what am. so, so you're, you're 22 now what I has am. been happening connie since you left britain's got talent how well, has life been um it's it's been a roller coaster i've been oh, i've just been so lucky i've traveled the world singing and um, actually, some <laughs> followers are listening from Asia at the moment because <gasps> I've, I've been so lucky to meet some incredible people um, and just tour the world singing. Um, it was something I, that, you know, was never expected. Yeah. Um, but yeah, now I'm completely independent, um, releasing really honest music that I love. Um, yeah, it's an EP called Growing Pains and the first single is out at the end of April. So... Um, I'm really excited for it. It's like the first, my first release as an adult, which is crazy. <laughs> yeah. So you, so you've written the music, yes. presumably, yeah. and, and you're independent as well. So that must be a new learning curve as well to sort of learn how to kind of put yourself out there in in 2023 because it's obviously a very different time to what it was back when you were little. It is. It is. It's so weird because I think. When I look back at, you know, Britain's Got Talent days, obviously people are like, oh, it's Connie off Britain's Got Talent. And now it's it's um, it's um, trying to navigate like me today. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm hoping this EP kind of just stands for who I am today as an adult. Um, um, but also appreciating those times because they were good times. <laughs> that's, that's really nice because you speak to some child stars, those people that have, have found fame and young, yeah. and they they don't like to talk about it too much. It's quite nice that you still embrace that and yeah. you, you still feel quite <laughs> grateful to have had that platform that's led you onto what you're doing now. Definitely, and I think because I was so young, um, you know, I, I can't look back on it with any yeah. sort of, you know, I, I was so lucky to just have 
this career as a child and to grow up and still be able to sing and for people to still be listening is a miracle in yeah. its in itself so I'm, I'm really really grateful and you've got listeners in asia and you've toured yeah. like, i mean it's great <laughs> uh, talk to me then about growing pains the ep what is it what is growing pains what brought you to sort of the moment you're at now wow um so growing pains is kind of um the journey that i've been on like growing up in the music industry um it's a positive message though it's not like, yeah. it's not all dark and no. <laughs> and doomy. but um yeah it's very upbeat song um but the whole ep which is called growing pains um it's just it's just very honest and it it's about a lot of experiences over these 16 years mm. since um since the beginning but yeah it's there's darker elements in there it's very harry style influenced oh. and yeah, it's just it's something completely different to whatever I've put out there before. So it's nerve-wracking, but it, also really exciting. But also true to you and true to who 100%. you are right now, which I think is really important. Yeah. So the EP is out when? Um, the end of April. End of April, yeah. okay. And if we want to find out more about you, obviously social media and things, you're yes. on Instagram, TikTok, all those bits and pieces. I am, I'm there, thank you. Oh, we will, we will be following you, Connie. Oh. Do people still ask you to sing Somewhere Over the Rainbow? Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think I'll think i be like 70 years old and still singing Somewhere Over the Rainbow with my dentures here. I mean, it's a good job, it's a classic. It's a good job yeah. that people still love it. Uh, Connie, we, we've loved having you and we're so oh, excited about the, the new EP. I mean, I'm just looking at you, your career the fact that you have sung in some incredible things i didn't realize that you you got to open the g20 world summit in seoul like yeah, what? that's I amazing know, i know it's it's really mad because i got to experience all these things as a child um and i'd love to just redo it all over again so i can actually have solid memories yeah of all, that's of the annoying thing yeah. i was about to say that you had these amazing experience but obviously you were just so so young yeah. but you you candled it magnificently and i can just Thank tell you. because now look at you you are you're so gorgeous and you're smashing it so oh, listen re rep in the west midlands as well because of I course am, you, know, am. you live in cannock now which is brilliant <laughs> uh, connie great to have you my darling and we'll look out for that ep Grown oh, thank you for having me no problem at all <laughs> Kath Stan Cheshire. West Midlands